Oh Jesus. Oh Jesus. Let's get ready for the word of God this morning. I'm not going to be here long with this word at all, at all, at all. Check the soil of your heart. Check the soil of your heart. Um, we're going to do a, a soil check today. All right, a soil check today. The sower sows the word. It's as simple as that. The sower sows the word. One reference says it early, um, that I read earlier. One, one, one reference it was... The farmer plants seed by taking God's word to others. By taking God's word to others. It's going to be real quick on today. Um, God, God is, is great and, and wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful Savior. In Jesus' parable of the sower, the seed landed on four types of ground um, as you, you all have probably read somewhere somehow some time ago uh, it landed on four types of ground producing four different results all right four different results the seed that fell on the footpath represents those who hear the word all right you heard the message only to have Satan come at once and take it away all right the seed on the rocky soil those who hear the message and immediately receive it with joy but since they don't have deep roots check this because they don't have deep roots they don't last long they don't last very long they fall away as soon as they have problems or they are go through some form of persecution. All right. Per once they're persecuted for believing God's word, the Bible says, all right, the seed that fell among the thorns represents others who hear God's word, but all too quickly, the message is crowded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The message got crowded out by the worries of this life and lure of, of, of wealth. And uh, the desire for other things. So no fruit is produced at all. No fruit is produced. The seed that fell on good soil, that represents those who hear and accept God's word and produce a harvest of 30, 60, or even 100 times as much had been planted. Are you hearing me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can find all of that in verses 15 through 20. That's Mark 4, verse 15 through 20. I tell you, I'm not going to be long before you, man. The seed of God's word cannot fail. Amen? The seed of God's word cannot fail, cannot fail, cannot fail. It always produces fruit. Isaiah 55 and verse 11 says it's all it always produces fruit. So if God's promises aren't being fulfilled in your life, my brothers and sisters, ask yourself a couple of questions. Ask yourself the question, what kind of soil am I? So that's why I said we're going to do some soil checking today. What kind of soil am I? If, if I'm not fulfilling the promises of God or the promises of God is not being fulfilled in my life. Ask yourself these questions. What kind of soil am I? Are you a surface person? Not, 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 not selfish, you know, are you a surface, a surface person, very thin skinned and easily offended? Are you that kind of girl? Are you that kind of guy? Are you a shallow person with no spiritual root system? Those are questions we have, to we have to answer today. Are you a shallow person with no form of spiritual root system? Are you on the ground? Are you? Are the words of life and the lure of wealth the desire for other things choking choking the spiritual life out of you this morning 
or are you rich fertile ground that produces results are you those are the questions that we have this morning to ask ourselves these questions we have to ask ourselves check the soil of your heart check the soil of your heart this morning what kind of soil am I just ask yourself the question what kind of soil what kind of soil am I what kind of soil am I a surface person a shallow person a thorny ground person or am I planted on fertile ground that produces results this morning you and I need to check the soil of our heart check the soil of our heart The farmer plants seed by taking God's word to others. And remember, the seed of God's word cannot fail. Cannot fail. Cannot fail. Father, we thank you again for speaking to us. Thank you, Lord, for this example that you, you, you have placed in our life that we can always look back to and get that soil check that we need, that we all need, the soil check. Thank you for reminding us, Lord, that we need to be strong, that we need, Lord God, to have or 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 seed planted on rich fertile ground rich fertile ground meaning we have a foundation in your word in your word help us jesus help us lord god to continue to push forward for the good for the good lord god allow us lord jesus to remember you are in control you are in complete control of our lives have your way Lord God we pray take full control of everything we do and say today in Jesus name Amen and Amen and Amen Thank you, Lord, for ordering our steps in your word, in your word. Amen. Hallelujah. Jesus, we love you. We worship you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord.